Cello, page 20, line number 67, Pepperoni Pizza. Now, this piece of music introduces us to these things called eighth notes. And you'll notice that first grouping of them, there are four of them all beamed together across the bottom. If you look up at the top of the page in that golden theory bar, they actually break it down for you and they show you what just a pair of them, two on their own, look like. And the way they get counted is, uh, so think of our quarter note. Remember those, they're only worth one beat each. If we have eighth notes, each of those pairs actually fits into the same amount of time space as one quarter note. So if my quarter note is going one, two, three, four, then my eighth note is going to go one, two, three, four, and. So I get two of them for each beat. The second one is always called and, but the first one always gets the beat name. So it's one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. And that's really helpful to know about. So for this line, pepperoni pizza, the rhythm that we're going to play sounds almost exactly like the words that we say. And so I think of it as pepperoni pizza, pepperoni pizza, and then for the last little bit there, you'll notice there's a rest at the end instead of two quarter notes. So take a look at that. The way that the notes go for this is it's going to be on our A string, all four fingers down high D. So it goes D, 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 C sharp, C sharp, B, 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 A, A, G, 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 F sharp, F sharp, E, 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 low D. Sorry, my voice just doesn't go that low. You're gonna have to deal with it. So for this one, first things first, let's pizzicato our way through it. So set up your fingers. Make sure you have your fingers nice and curled here for the neck of your cello. Your thumb is there at the back, but you're not actually like squeezing like this. You're mostly like pulling down from your shoulder instead. Let the weight of that actually bring the string down. For the pizzicato hand, make the letter L with your thumb and your pointer finger. Find the end of your fingerboard, go up about two inches, pointer finger towards the sky, curl to letter C, and reach over to that string. So let's plug that pepperoni pizza. One and two and three, go. So feel how much faster those eighth notes go. Think about that really carefully when you count yourself in for this next part. We're gonna play it again, this time arco. So make sure that your hand for your bow is in good position, box shaped thumb, curled fingers, and pinky is just resting there. Bow hair flat on the string, lean the stick slightly up towards your face. One and two and ready, go. So you can clearly hear how those eighth notes move twice as fast as their quarter note counterparts. So try that a couple of times and then we'll go on to another piece.